Gary, what's your views on today's game then? Well, well, all the emotions really. Um, you know, I was disappointed that they were getting into the game too much when they scored their, their goal. We had to make a few little changes, a few little fine tunings. Um, in the end, we had to put on three strikers and uh, and it come up trumps for us because Sinclair had a couple of chances um, and obviously Dan Ullman got the winning goal. Uh, great corner by Connor because that's where we want you know the balls on the money, and uh, and that's exactly what he did. Uh, so, and obviously very pleased to have a local derby, and we beat them twice in the space of a week. Um, and they're a good team, you know they're a good team. You saw by the goal they scored, which was an unbelievable goal. They they got you know some quality players. So have we, and uh, I thought it was a, a good derby, and certainly our fans will go home hopefully having enjoyed it, and. Uh, we enjoyed their, their support when uh, they realised their team was you know, back in the game. But just the support that we had, well, I don't know how many, 1,200 or something, it, it, it looked near that figure. And uh, we're as proud of them, as I always say, as I think they would be of us today. Was you pleased with your tactical substitutions today, and in particular with uh, some of the flack that he's, he's had over the, over the last few months, Dan Holman and he's, and he's, and he's finished today? Yeah, well, we, you always know with Dan, he's had a, he's had a little barren spell, you're right. Um, but he's a good striker of the ball, and unfortunately he was trying to do too much for the team and not enough for himself in the last few games. But you've also got to remember that uh, his family weren't very well. I, I don't think he'll mind me saying that. And he, he had to isolate a couple of times. So he never really got into the swing of it training every day. And it, it meant he was not as sharp as he should be. But now... Thank God everybody's okay now and his family and he's trained the last uh, week or so and he's looking sharper. And uh, that is exactly a Dan Holman goal, what you've just seen there. And uh, But I'm pleased with all of them, of course. I'm pleased I made the substitutions when I did. Um, we had the three strikers up front because all of a sudden, um, the three of them along with Connor and Keelan when he came on looked dangerous. And that was what we needed to do. We wasn't as dangerous as I wanted to be throughout the game, but we certainly was looked dangerous towards the end. Now, after going behind, obviously, to a, a quality strike from, from, the, from the Oval team, uh, were you pleased with the response of the players after going behind to that goal? Yeah, of course I was, uh, obviously. Very, very pleased because I think there is a spirit there. They get very disappointed when their game's not quite right as individuals, and then they get a bit disappointed. So they care. That's the big thing. You've got to have a, a group that care. And then they'll always pull themselves out of uh, adversity. And we've had adversity this week. You know, I, I just said to the TV there that um, there's been so much adversity that I can't let everybody know until I bring my book out. <laughs> and when I bring my book out, everyone will realise that that was a hell of a performance considering the the different little things that have happened this week. Um, and me and Downsy were de determined not to let that affect us. So I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going to give him a bit of a cuddle in a minute because uh, uh, we, we really have worked hard in these few days leading up to this game. And uh, yeah, so I, I, you know, I, I credit it to him as well, uh, along with our other staff. But you know, me and Downsy have been working 24 hours a day. <laughs> And finally, there was. Because the directors um, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> finally, there was 1,044 of the Yellow Army making the trip today. Obviously, the team have given them a happy new year. Have you got a message for them? Yeah, my message is the message, you know, the normal one, which is, you know, have a happy and healthy new year. And uh, maybe the, the, the other word we've put in there is successful. You know, they love their football club. Uh, we love, you know, their participation, we, we love their support. Uh, and that's genuine, that's not me just saying that, and I'll, I'll say it often enough anyway. And you can see at the end there with the scenes how, uh, how close the whole club is. And sometimes it takes a local derby and a, and a good result uh, to, to get the whole club going again. Now if you look at it, is it four out of five that we've won now? Um, well that's not bad going that. You know, we're all disappointed when we get beat in a game. But we have to look what we've done over the last sort of few months, and, it, and it's not bad. And it, it just gives us a little bit of hope. We've got hope now as to uh, where we might end up. 
Gary, thanks for your time and congratulations on a terrific win. Appreciate it, appreciate it.